So something that I'm getting rid of, but I'm not getting rid of it, is this file box. This file box my dad gave me a year or two ago when I still lived with my parents because I didn't have any room in my bedroom for a file cabinet. And you know what? It was awesome. It's nice and big inside. It served its purpose. It kept all my important documents organized and in one place, and I really appreciate it. However, now that I have the two drawer file cabinet that me and Chanel use and that we did over, um, I don't need it anymore. So I did consult my dad. I'm going to give this back to him because he'd rather take it back than me donate it. So I'm going to do that. So yeah, that's the thing because this was in the closet in the second bedroom and I was looking at it like, you know what? I like it and it does serve a really good purpose, but will it serve a purpose for me right now? No, because I do not need it. So I'm going to give it back to him and I'm sure he can put it to better use. So a couple of things that I also have to throw out. This is a SobaCal pillow. I have had this, let's see, when was my back injury? <laughs> 2011. I have had this a good five years and it was a good pillow, but look at how like empty it is now it's just gotten so flimsy and it's you know even like with the pillow cover it's gross looking don't even look at it um but it served its purpose because when i had my first back injury it really helped me sleep at night because i was so uncomfortable and it actually did help align my neck and everything so um but it's old. I don't need it. And so this has kind of gotten to the point where this isn't even worth donating because this is not going to serve someone well. This is just an old used gross pillow. So I'm going to throw this out as well as this uh, candle by Victoria. So this isn't even used and this kills me to have to throw it out. But first of all, it's kind of changing color and getting gross. So you know that that's not a good sign. But um, the other candle by Victoria that I tried burning at my parents' house would set the smoke alarms off. And I don't know if it's because of what's in the wick or something, but it's not a good situation. And I really don't feel like the smoke detector is going off. And I know that I can probably burn the wax, but I'm gonna be honest and say that I'm not gonna use this. And plus it is kind of getting gross. So I'm going to just get rid of this one. The last few things I'm going to throw out are these work shirts. So these were my work shirts at the daycare and I worked there about two years. So they got their fair share of use. But I'm holding on to these why. You know, like, again, it's another sentimental thing. I am never going back to that daycare. So I don't need these. I'm never going to wear them besides if I worked there. Um, and then they're not good enough to, like, give back or donate because they have, like, you know, sweat stains and, you know, stains from activities with the kids. They're gross. They're gross. No one needs them. So... I'm just going to throw these out, especially because donating them, that's kind of weird too. Like, I'm sorry, work shirts that have like your workplace on it, that's local, like it's, yeah, that's weird. So those are some more trash. I also wanted to point out that as far as trash goes, I also got rid of two trash cans worth of trash that I haven't showed in this video, but I'm very happy to say that, you know, I'm doing a good amount of um, trashing things as well, you know, pointless stuff, just stuff that is not worth donating or selling, but you need to get rid of. So in this box, again, I'm kind of just going to do a run through, is some supplies. So like, let's see, this little laptop case, binders. I have several binders and notebooks that I brought with me for like just in case that I'm never going to use. So for example, two composition notebooks. I hate composition notebooks. I don't know what it is. I hate them so much like I don't get the point of them because I like how in the spiral you can put it like inside out and it just is so much more logical so I don't even get why composition notebooks are a thing so I'm just going to donate those to someone who prefers them binders don't need them okay I still have some backups realistically but I'm not I don't need as much you know I think again the thing in my my mind was that oh, this is a better binder from Staples, so it's better quality, so it's pointless to get rid of it because it was expensive. You know, it's a lot of me having to get over that mindset because just because I spent a certain amount at one time doesn't mean I should hang on to it. So some other supplies that I'm getting rid of are various stamps. So I have like stamp sets from I don't, I, I'm not kidding you, 10, 15 years ago when I was younger, um, I had like an obsession with 
stamps from Michael's Craft Store. I thought they were the coolest thing. Like, this was a Big Lots one. I thought it was cool when I found, like, nice quality stamps when I was younger for, uh, you know, 79 cents at Big Lots. And I would legit spend, like, $10 on a stamp at Big Lots. And that, uh, not Big Lots, at Michael's. And that was, like, a big deal to me. So, I don't know. All that crafty stuff, I used to love. And that's another thing I'm working on is I used to love it. And there's a part of me that wants to do it again, but knowing that with my, you know, schedule now and my interests now, it's probably just never going to happen. And it's okay that I used to like something and I used to prioritize it, but now I don't. It's okay that my hobbies and my interests have changed. It's like, it's very interesting to go through this minimalistic journey because it's very much not just physical, it's emotional because you have to kind of put the pieces together of why have you kept this for so long when you haven't touched it or looked at it in 5-10 years. And it's very interesting to kind of go deeper within yourself and realize who you are a little bit more and realize who you once were and that that's okay and acknowledge that but that it's okay to let go and continue to grow and be who you are and who you're meant to be you don't always have to hang on to everything and so it's been a very interesting journey and I have just started so <laughs> this should be cool but yeah so I have various like stamps and stuff like look at this guys I even have this little library stamp okay this goes up to the year 2008. It went from 97 to 2008. And I used to love playing librarian. I would like take all of my books and put the little stamps in it. Like, oh, you got to return by this date and stuff. And I loved it. I felt so official that I had one of these. But it's time. I mean, it doesn't even have my year on it anymore. It stopped eight years ago. So some jewelry that I'm getting rid of, I kind of just put in this bag. So it's like bulky bracelets that I don't wear because I don't like the feel on my wrist anymore. I used to love stuff like that, and that's okay. But now I like the more dainty bracelets, so I'm getting rid of them. You know, kind of just like this bracelet that came with the Tarte Holiday Palette a couple years ago that I am so obsessed with that palette. I use that palette all the time, but I never use the bracelet. And just because the bracelet was a freebie with it doesn't mean it's worth hanging on to, you know what I mean? So, like, that's another thing that I'm trying to get over is, like, you know, the freebies, you don't always need them. And then some necklaces in here I actually have to end up throwing out because they're so tarnished that they just don't even look good anymore. So this is kind of a mixture of donate and toss. Lotion. Okay, let's talk about lotion. I, for some reason, hoard lotion and I never use it. Let me tell you, like, I use lotion after every time I shave my legs because my legs get super itchy if I don't. So I do it then. And I tried a couple years ago doing the whole, I'm going to lotion up every day after I shower. It is such a pain for me. I hate putting on lotion because I hate that it like feels so heavy and sticky all the time. Sometimes I don't feel like the scent that it is. It just, no, I don't like lotion. I want to like lotion, but don't. So I have to come to terms with that. So I have like all these lotions in here that are perfectly good that somebody else can benefit from. And another thing that I have to get past is some of these were gifts. Some of these were sent to me by dear friends of mine. And I feel bad getting rid of them. But at the same time, I know that I'm going to impact someone else's life positively. And that's okay. It is okay to get rid of stuff that people have given you. Because I would rather do that than it sit there, never get used, expire, and get thrown out brand new. So I'm also trying to get past that. So like I literally have, I think, two lotions that I am keeping for myself, and that is it. And I mean like body lotion, because face lotion and all that I use on the regular, but body lotion, hand lotion, it's enough already.